Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Hollow Knight Let's Play. In today's episode, we are going to start by finding the shortcut because we didn't find it at the end of last episode and it's been driving me crazy. Uh, after that, we're going to do the fat worms, for which I will probably do a, um, a time lapse because that is going to be a boring fight. After that, we're going to do the junk pit. Uh, I want to open that cocoon. And then once we're done with that, we are going to follow all these jagged edges, not this one, because we know that sky bridge and it's inaccessible at the moment. But like, we're going to go back to this one, and we're going to go back to this one, and not this one, because this is the entrance to the crystal place, and we will be coming back to that absolutely as soon as we're done finding all of these jagged edges. And that is the plan for today, so let us get started. Awesome stuff, so... I wanted to let you guys know that I've been a little bit um, discouraged with with YouTubing <laughs> um, ever since the move, man. Like, I don't know if you picked up on it in the last two episodes. Um, my sound was all messed up, like, and it's it was like distance related. The further I was from my mic, the softer I'd be, and then the closer I got, the louder I'd be. So, if I'm speaking while moving. You had this super weird effect where it sounds like I'm starting to shout midway through my sentence. Um, am I... what? what is the plan here, Lee? Okay, so I wanna... I seem to be going up in this direction. Which is fair enough, I think I'm just gonna carry on this way. So that combined with... I don't know, man. Moving just changes a guy, <laughs> I think. Um, that has made me semi-discouraged. I was really dragging my feet to, to edit those last two videos. And like, I only made two videos for the whole week. Which is which is a, a record low for me. I've been pumping nine videos a week for the last, like, I don't know, man, shortly into into Hollow Knight, I started pumping nine videos a week. And now this is the first time that I've fallen down to only two videos, which is insane. Um, but in terms of the sound stuff, I don't know how to fix it. If you guys maybe know if there's some sort of setting in OBS or some sort of setting with your mic or your drivers or whatever, because like it, it just changed after the move and now I can't get it back. Like before the move everything was fine. My settings were fine. And now everything is messed up. And um, so now my solution at the current... Ah oh, crap, I'm not going to be able to go through here, am I? Can I go up and over? There's a tunnel that we opened up over here somewhere, isn't there? Where? Because I know that there's a tunnel up to the right there that we came through once but I don't know where it puts us out on this side um, let's just check this out as well but otherwise we're gonna have to go all the way freaking around um, okay oh crap okay we're gonna have to go all the way around back where we came from um, but not to fear I shall time lapse this um, and through the magic of editing, I shall be able to tell you my story whilst time lapsing. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying, but yeah, it's been my, my current solution now for the whole sound settings thing is to just keep my face the same distance from the mic throughout the entirety of uh, filming. And we're only how many, how many minutes in? Three minutes in. So, so far, so good, but I don't know. I don't know if eventually I'm going to be tired of sitting in this one position <laughs> uh, and subconsciously move around maybe that I think will mess it up. I'm going to try not to I guess and then we'll see how that goes. Um, otherwise I will google some other solutions of this if I can't find the actual solution on google because all I've actually tried was tinkering with my settings um, for the last hour and then I was like oh crap <laughs> and, and then I was like I need to shoot this episode now. I need to get back into this. Um, so we're just going to take the solution for now and then work on it again some more later. And then the other aspect is the whole like moving changes guy thing. I don't know. Has that ever happened to you guys? Because I haven't moved in a very long time. Prior to this move, I haven't moved since I want to say 2009. Uh, we moved into the previous place that I stayed f at for 11 years. We moved in when I was 17. Um, and then my parents eventually moved out and then my wife and I just kept the place. At the time, she was still my girlfriend. 
Um, so, and like, everything is different now, personality-wise. Or not everything is different, per se. But like, a lot of things have changed. Like, I'm all of a sudden less motivated to do YouTube, and I'm working on this random little app for no apparent reason. And like, just all sorts of crap has changed within me. <laughs> and I blame the move. Um, but yeah, I think if I can get the sound issues sorted, um, I'd at least be able to regain my motivation for making YouTube videos. Um, and just to set the record straight, this is purely, um, this is purely, like, I, I still love playing this game and I still love hanging out with you guys. My mo when I say my motivation, it's like just getting myself to do it. That is the problem. Like, that is what's not happening right now. And it's frustrating and annoying. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I'm having a pretty good time. I'm just a little bit worried about what I'm going to do if um, this posture becomes uncomfortable and I want to lean back, for instance. Um, because I can see that being a problem. And I'm also a little bit worried about how's the sound going to sound on my... How's my commentary going to sound with the sound levels? Because I can see my mic audio level is constantly going up into into the into the yellow um, on OBS. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, I'm gonna just let the time lapse do its thing, and I will see you guys when we get there. Oh wow, I'm the way left side. Um. Okay, cool. Didn't need to let the time lapse do its thing. Um, oh, crap, crap, crap. Let us go to the left here. Uh, so, my new idea to try to find that shortcut again <laughs> is to go through, like, from the outside. So, go to the Nell Smith, below the Nell Smith, find the shortcut, and see where it takes you on the inside of the waterways. I think that's going to be the best way to just figure that out, right? Like, if we can't find it from the other side, then find it from this side. Seems to be the only logical conclusion. And also, uh, you see what happens if you don't play a lot, is you become soft. <laughs> you become weak at the game. And then people can just take advantage of you. Like that freaking guard that just struck me. So, yeah, let's see what happens. You see, this is the entrance. This is this side entrance. Now I want to see how this connects. So we jumped in over here. Okay. So then stands to reason that we should be over here, right? But I don't think that we are. I don't think that we are at all. This is super strange. Like, if we keep going to the going down now, we're gonna pop out at the junk pit. Check this. Look at this. We're in the junk pit right now. So, how does that connect? Here's the junk pit. I suppose it must be like a invisible tunnel going up because we did come out of a little hut here. It's not as though. It wasn't a normal screen transition, it's an actual thing you have to enter. So I suppose that's the only logical conclusion. I mean, there's nothing more that we can really do to test that hypothesis, I don't think. Uh, but seeing as we made it to the junk pit first, before doing the fat rooms, let's do this first. Let's see what happens. I hope it's not a boss fight. I'm expecting a boss fight. Oh! Collected the God Tuner. Device that resonates with beings of great power. Seek, seek the gods of Hellenest. Tune their power through their strength. Ascend. What? What? <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> uh, where is it? God Tuner. Device that resonates with beings of great power. 
glows bright upon defeating mighty foes. Glows bright where? What? Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, no, I'm being teleported, aren't I? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Although this is a little less anticlimactic, I feel. Blasphemy. Rank blasphemy. Thou crawler, thou cringer, thou smallest of the small, by what right dost thou trespass here in the home of the gods? Privil away and be gone. Be gone! Oh wow. Okay, oh, so there's an exit so we can leave. Over here. Clouds. Beauti very beautiful scenery. Very beautiful. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it tranquil per se. It, it feels a little bit I don't know, it feels a little bit intimidating, but it is very beautiful. No denying that. Card home. Holy goodness. What are you guys? Oh a tune. Seeker of the gods. Seek power. Our mind a sea. Seeker of gods. A bridge. A tune. Our mind a sea. Okay, I'm not gonna keep doing that. But I'm gonna do him as well. Seek power. Does that happen just anywhere? No, so it does happen on them. Inspect, inspect, inspect. This thing, nothing. Okay. So is this sort of like a hub world? Rest. But like you guys, nothing. A bridge. Okay, so I think they all just sort of chant the same chant. Okay, this is obviously where I came from. Ah, oh, what the hell is this place, man? What? What? Top left is that vengeful fly thing. Right next to it is the Gru's mother. Right below it is I don't know what that is, but I've seen it. I've definitely seen it. Uh, below that, not a clue. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> below that is Hornet. To the right of that is I don't know, but it's also dark. To the right of that. Couldn't tell you either. That might be the Dung Defender. Uh, above that, I assume that is the Soul Sanctum. Um, what was that guy's name? The boss of the Soul Sanctum. And be above that is another dark one that I couldn't tell you at all. So it looks like I fought all these things. And because I fought them, they light up on this. Look at this now. Okay, I have no idea what's happening here. I definitely haven't fought that thing. Or... Oh, look, there's Fluke Marm to the right. I don't recall fighting the thing at the top or the left or the bottom. I suppose that will be then the final thing. And is that it? Yeah, so... The vibe I'm getting from this is that it's some sort of hub world and we need to go defeat all those enemies and then come back. However shall we know if we actually defeated the enemies there? <laughs> is what I want to know. Oh. Okay, cool. So we can leave this place then, which as far as I'm considered is a win. Um, because we are not looking to do new things, for goodness sake. How many times do I have to say this? Uh, to myself mostly. Mind you, I don't blame any of you guys for all this uh, side tracking. Okay, so this is some sort of a god then. Holy crap, that is pretty epic. In the junk pit, no less. You wouldn't expect to find the corpse of a god in essentially the uh, the trash can of the society, you know? Oh, there's a pen. 
on it. What is that? Is it a vendor? The closest thing I can find to it is the orange vendor color. Can't imagine that's a vendor though. Maybe, maybe if we get through one of those doors, we can fight something and then maybe get something and then because we got something in that sense, it's a bit of a vendor. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, no spoilers. I don't want this to be spoiled. I also swear to God, I will not go Google what the hell this is afterwards. <laughs> um, but I definitely, I definitely am intrigued and I definitely do want to get back to this. Um, so I'm glad there's a pin for it. So yeah, let's move on. Let's do the fat worms. I'm definitely gonna time lapse that for you guys because you won't be, you won't want to sit through that. Uh, oh yeah, now how are we gonna get there? This way is how we're gonna get there. What was up here? Did we ever go up here? If this is not even, there's those noises. Those are the noises that we talked about. We jump down this way and then. Come yeah, man, don't bleep me. That is so strange. Why would you have an empty corridor there? Unless, of course, there was something that we found the first time around. <laughs> and now, it, and then it would make sense for there to be an empty corridor. Okay, so time lapse starts in. Wait, no. <laughs> so I'm about to start a time lapse. I will stop if anything interesting happens or if I've killed all four and located the sound. Okay, I think that clears out everything. I think we're good and done and I think I've killed all of them. And I think we can confirm without a reasonable doubt that that noise was in fact fat worms passive noise. Because I hear it nowhere now. All traces of said noise is gone. And I haven't run through the whole place yet since killing them all, so we're quickly just doing that to confirm beyond all doubt. Oh crap, crap, crap. Thief monster. I, those are one of my least favorites. My most hated uh, enemies. And like they're not even that tough, but now of course I haven't played again in f since forever. So I'm just taking wax left and right. Okay, cool. We we've been underneath this tunnel. I don't think we've been in this one exactly. Yeah, there's no more sign of that noise. Oh, so this was a giant waste of time. Um, I semi-apologize for that. For having wasted all of our time. <laughs> but on the other hand, like, we wouldn't have been able to sleep not knowing the truth. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's not as though it was complete waste of time. It's the price you pay for closure, you know? That's, that's what that is.